Have you ever enjoyed yourself before? Have you ever done something that you love? Something that you truly enjoy? Well, if you have, you can almost guarantee that Karen hates you for it. We've been dealing with and studying Karens for years now here at the Juke Squad, trying to figure out what makes a Karen tick. We've gone over so many forms of Karens out there. Some Karens aren't actually mean, they're just delusional, while some Karens are delusional and mean. But what they all have in common is that they don't have any common sense. Ever. And typically, the grounds for which they have meltdowns are completely unjustifiable. There is no logic in this place where Karen exists. From skating on sidewalks to jumping on trampolines, if you're having fun, you can almost assure that Karen is sitting up in her Simp Lord's lair, plotting her attack to ruin your good time. Let's, uh, we got some clips for you today. It's Karen versus Fisherman. Not again, Karen. Not again. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh. We're just here, we're just here trying to make the world a better place, trying to keep you guys safe from Karens. If you appreciate us sticking our neck out, making it known that we're trying to study and capture these, these Karens, drop a like. This is dangerous work, please. For every like, I will kiss one mother, thus keeping her safe from Bigfoot. Let's dive into some of the clips that we have today. This episode hits close to home. It was filmed in Sebastian Inlet, Florida, my second home growing up, where a man fishing is told by a Karen that he's not allowed to fish there because she owns the water. Anywhere in Florida, it doesn't matter where you are, if the water is connected to the ocean, you cannot own it, especially a giant intercoastal like that. Silly Karen, let's see how this unfolds. Should I call the cops too? Yeah, yeah. That's, not, not, that's good. Now you're harassing me. You don't own the water. You own that. You own that. I own from that telephone pole all the way down. All this water is yours? Impossible. 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 You don't own the water, sweetheart. Yeah, we do. No, you don't. Your property line is over here. I, exactly. Get mad. Get mad. I'm going to make you famous. I'm going to make you famous. What's your name? Pepe the Pew, how you doing, Peppy? You probably stink too. Look at you, you're bored. Sad, you're a sad woman. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Hey everybody, I can't even fish. She says she owns the water. She's splashing me, bothering me. That's all right, I like the water, it's okay. That doesn't bother me. I'm not pathetic. You feel better about yourself? You must be a bored woman. But then be rich, good, but, but you're miserable. You, okay, you're rich, but you're miserable. Hold up, where's this? Okay, she lives right there in that house, right there. So this went really viral. I remember when this happened and this was going down, there was a big event that I was invited to on Facebook. One thing that you will learn about Floridians if you've ever been to Florida is that most of them are the nicest people ever. Unless you are a petty Karen, then be prepared for a level of pettiness that you are just not ready for. Apparently this Karen's name was Joyce, so a Facebook event was started called Fishing Joyce's Dock, where over 60 boats, kayaks, air mattresses, and hundreds of people went to the very dock that Joyce sprayed the hose at the guy on to go fishing at her dock because they're allowed to because it's public waters. This is the level of pettiness that I aspire to achieve someday. So yeah, this all went down in protest of her Karen-like behavior. Oh man, her husband must be having a great week. Imagine being married to a Karen like this. It's hard to have sympathy for this man because he did, in fact, marry a Karen. Apparently they own a local business too and it has since then been boycotted. So our next clip, this Karen is just very angry because these guys are fishing too close to their dock. She starts yelling at them. They let her know, hey, we're not gonna hit your dock. We're not gonna hit your boat. We're allowed to fish here. Leave us alone, angry Karen. Oh yeah. No problem. I won't hit it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No. Nope. Yep. Seven seconds after he said that he's not gonna hit her dock or her boat, she asks him if he's snagged. He says no. She then just starts yelling at them over and over and these kids are just stating the obvious is that they aren't doing anything wrong she's just waiting for us to hit it just ignore him that's the best thing you could do i almost just hooked a sunfish no just stay here seriously 
She's gonna keep yelling at us. Man, we're not doing anything wrong. We're just fishing. We're just fishing. We're not doing anything wrong. We're just fishing. We haven't hit anything. And if we do, stuff happens. Can't be. Man, we're fishing. Okay. She then threatens to sink their boat with a tsunami or a tidal wave type deal by stating she will jump in the water if they keep fishing as a way to sink their boat and as a way to scare all the fish away. <laughs> okay. And that's exactly what she did. No more fish. Yep, no more fish. While drowning, since she can barely swim, she states no more fish while choking on water and no Twinkies. Fish. Okay, I'm not sure that she had Twinkies, but that would be really funny. These boys figured they were lucky to be alive after that incident and decided to move on. I don't blame them. Sometimes you just have to flee away from the Karens. It's a little unacceptable, but we'll leave. Just trying to fish. That's all we're doing. This is one of the most famous fishing Karen breakdowns of all time, where a Karen throws a man's fishing rod into the water. To keep it short, she was angry that some dude's poles were hanging over the slip because he was waiting to get on a boat, so she felt that she had the right to move them by throwing them across the dock, leading to one of the poles falling in the water. Then she was confronted. She starts moving his gear. He had a large tackle box with a minnow bucket tied to the handle. She grabs that, moves it to the other side of the dock, and sets it down. As she's walking back, she starts yelling at this other couple who were fishing in the slot next to where his gear was. She was screaming, This is for boats, not fishing. You're not supposed to fish here. Well, she grabs his three rods and takes two steps and then just throws his rods across the deck and one bounced off and landed in the water. And everyone saw it go in and we all just looked at each other like, Oh, wow. <laughs> she threw your stuff in the water. <laughs> nah, she threw it in. You threw it in the water. Yeah, I moved it because I didn't want to turn my boat. You threw it in the water. No, I moved it. You I threw it. it. I paid two. I threw it. $200 for that wheel. Don't put your, don't put your boat in the boat slip. I'm sorry. There's 60, there, there's hey. 10 boat slips. So at this point, it was getting repetitive and stupid, so I walked off and tied on a treble hook to see if I could try and catch the rod. Witnesses emerge and state that they saw her throw it in the water. Karen having absolutely no remorse at all for throwing this nice old man's fishing pole in the water, she goes to confront the tattletale. Oh, well, it's about 40 feet deep right here. I know. Yeah. Um, so well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to take all the information. We'll give it to the DA. They will... 13, go ahead. I'll, you'll be able to call them and see what they want to do, but it's going to be up to them to take the case. Um, okay. It's going to be destruction of property as well. Go underneath that. I don't know if it's Class C or that'll go up to the JP or if it'll go to the actual district attorney. But I'll get all your information and I will have I will have all this stuff sent to them and a report typed up because I'm not going to make the the call. I'll leave it up to the, the judge to make that call. You got to be pretty dumb to taunt a guy who has all the evidence of the crime you just committed. So I could have talked here and made them look even dumber. But I decided to just keep my mouth shut and soak in the content. As you can see here, I'm getting my camera ready to record, and this is where they really show the true Karen inside them.
lady that threw the guy's pole in the water. Can you get them to stop harassing me, please? down to me. all high and mighty until the game warden shows up and then she realized that that the game warden was on the other people's side and not on the Karen side and I'm not gonna lie the face that that Karen made when she realized that the game warden was against her is absolutely beautiful stunning priceless that's our fishing Karens for the day that was terrifying that was brutal I can't believe Karens like that exist I don't know what to do I don't know what to do I'm just gonna keep trying to educate you guys keep trying to help you guys Keep trying to do what I can to prevent your mothers from becoming Karens and to prevent them from being kissed by Bigfoot himself. We have some of the best videos we've ever filmed coming. Please support the dream by clicking the like button. Subscribe if you've not done that. It's not that hard. You'll get in, you can get notifications on our videos too. If you want to cop some merch, that is the absolute best way to support us. We have invisibility cloaks, invisibility shirts. You can be invisible. Might be able to make you, help you to be able to hide from the Karens. So, you're welcome. And thank you. Until next vase, time, shelf, faces. You don't know what I'm talking about. You'll figure it out.